Hey y'all, it's Dawn, and I'm so glad you're back. I've got another fun, budget-friendly DIY video for you today. Okay guys, wish me luck. I'm going to try to do this voiceover. I had so much fun creating all these Apple tier tray core items with my new X-Tool D1 laser. I purchased this cut file from Etsy and loaded it into Lightburn. I made a few tweaks to the file and sized all the pieces to the size I wanted. Once I'm a little more comfortable with Lightburn, I hope to start creating my own cut files and show you how I create the files. But for the time being, I'll continue purchasing the files and making my own little tweaks to them. If you're interested in learning Lightburn, you can find some amazing videos here on YouTube by typing in Lightburn Tutorial. After I had created all the files, I used the laser to cut and engrave the pieces. At my work table, I began painting all the pieces and putting them together. For the little cutting board, I used white chalk paint. And for the caramel apple, I used a red paint marker for the apple portion and an alcohol marker for the handle or stick. I left the caramel part the natural wood color. To attach the pieces to the cutting board, I used Gorilla Clear Grip Glue and a toothpick. I use this glue on all my laser cut to ear tray items. It doesn't dry as quickly as hot glue, so you have time to arrange things and you don't have the little strings like you do with hot glue, and that's a bonus. It doesn't dry as quickly as hot glue, but the hold is so much better. For the apple basket, I used the red paint pen again and painted some of the apples. I then used a lime green acrylic paint on the others because, you know, not all apples are red. Okay, guys, this is why I haven't been able to do my voiceovers. You can hear it now, and I'm not even close to finishing this voiceover. So please, just stick with me. For the basket, I used a couple of alcohol markers because I wanted the wood grain and engraved details to show. Plus, I thought it made it look more realistic. Once all the paint was dry, I put all the pieces together. I absolutely adore how this basket of apples turned out. I went back in with a darker green and painted all the leaves on the apples. Next, I painted one of the banner apples with lime green and the other two with red paint pen. I placed some Dollar Tree round beads on a skewer and painted them with the red paint pen. And I also painted some with the lime paint. I created a small garland using the painted beads and some Dollar Tree square beads that I left in the white color.
I made a couple of simple tassels and attached them to the ends. I cut out this adorable little cart from a file from Etsy also. After painting and staining it, I put it together with some Gorilla Glue. And placed a couple of Dollar Tree wood blocks to stand it up. I'm not sure which I like the best, the basket of apples or the cart. They are both so stinking cute. Let me know which of these is your favorite in the comments. And if you would, say a little prayer that my voice gets better. Please take a second to like this video and leave me a comment. This really helps my channel to grow so others, just like yourself, can find me. If you just found me, I hope you will join our little family by hitting the subscribe button. If you are already part of the family, thank you so much for your love and support. Y'all are the absolute best. Check out my new Amazon store for craft supply and farmhouse home decor recommendations. All the products I use from Amazon in my videos can be found there. Until next time, happy crafting!